So you mentioned some some biomarkers already. Um, how do glial markers like GFAP and CHIT1 differ mechanistically from established markers like NFL1, NFL? And um, what do they reveal about MS pathogenesis? Wonderful question. And I think the first step to answering that will be to look which cells are releasing those biomarkers or what's the origin of those biomarkers. For something like NFL, we know very well it's coming from the neurons, from the axonal structures. We know if you put neurons under stress, they will release NFL. So ultimately, anything in the MS pathology that will stress the neuron or damage them will result in higher NFL values. If you look at glial fibrillary acidic protein, it's a slightly more complex situation because we know that GFAP is a protein that's present in the astrocytes. And we actually know that astrocyte damage or injury in MS is not very pronounced. Can happen, but not very severe. So the fact, the question is how an intracellular marker like GFAP is released from the astrocyte and what would it mean? Our current understanding suggests that GFAP is released based on astrocyte activation. If you have large number of active astrocytes, you will see higher values of GFAP in the blood. Kittinase 1 or Kittinase 3 like 1, those are two different markers. It's also very promising markers. They are coming from another component in the brain, which, which, are, um, which is the microglial cells. So microglial cells are myeloid cells in the brain. You find a lot of ketinases there and they are known to release those ketinases. One or three, we are still, I'm sure, not sure that we know exactly how differently they are involved in the MS, but we know that for both markers, if you are measuring them in the blood, we have to be really careful because some of the blood cells are also releasing those ketinases. So you will have some noise in the blood. That doesn't mean that those markers are not informative. It's just um, um, uh, important to understand the real source of what we are measuring. Mm. So mechanistically, based on that, every marker is reflecting to you what the cells that are releasing those biomarkers are doing. So when we are measuring NFL, we are talking about neuroaxonal injury. GFEP, we are talking about astrocyte involvement. And for the ketinases, it's reflecting what the microglia are doing. So you can measure all of those together and get a more holistic view on what's happening in the brain in a patient with MS.